Back in the early days of the movies, they were called silent pictures, but they were never silent. There was music for every scene, filling in the blanks, and for years no one seemed to mind that nobody was talking. Much of the music came from giant theater organs that not only played the melody, but had other instruments built in to sound like a complete orchestra, including sound effects. Roy Davis of McMinnville collects theater organs. This one's from the old Majestic Theater in Johnson City, Tennessee. When Roy Davis pulls out the stops, Rudolph Valentino never had it so good. A big difference between a theater organ and a church organ, and in the church or classic organ, there are many, many hundreds of, thousands of, I guess, across the country. The theater organs were built to accompany the silent movies, to give sound to the Keystone Cops and Buster Keaton. And uh, when the movies talked for themselves, the theater organs fell silent. At one time, there were thousands of theater organs in the country. Now, fewer than a hundred remain that, that play. Somebody once described the theater organ as a, as a magic instrument. Why do you think they call it that? If you go into one of the old movie palaces where these things were originally installed with the marble columns and the, and the proscenium arch and the, Google sh the crystal chandelier, uh, that's kind of magic. And you are transported into a, a palace of kings for, for uh, a brief span of a movie, and the theater organ was the voice of the palace. And, and so maybe that's where the magic comes from, I don't know.